Welcome back everyone, here is the second video of the week P2 on IXL, similarity statements So it's based off, uh, it's based on what we learned yesterday or what we went through yesterday uh, It's all about figuring out what sides go together, what sides correspond to each other and then putting them in an order So here, uh, all I have to do is figuring out what side corresponds to the FG FG is the first and second letters so I'm gonna build my first and second letter uh, over here FG corresponds to SR we could also use PQ it wouldn't matter because they are equal anyways so I'm gonna start with let me follow the pattern FG okay let's say SR now Step two is do the same thing with the second and third letters, GH. Figure out how long it is. GH is two, it's the longer side, and it goes with R and another side. Start from R, and the longer side that you can only pick is this right here, RQ. So that means my third letter is going to be Q. And the fourth letter is, there's only one letter left, so it should be P. That's all you have to do. So, SRQP would be one of the right answer uh, for this question. Let me test this out. I don't want to uh, mislead you guys. SRQP, SRQP, let's just type it out. And submit it. Okay, it works. They're not looking for a particular pattern or anything like that. Okay, let's do this one too. Uh, okay, step one. Work with the first and second letters. Uh, EF. Figure out what side it is. And see what side looks like that one, isn't it? This one here. And double check your work. 76 degrees. 76 degrees and we have the same degrees over here so put them in any kind of order doesn't matter uh, SU or US both will work and the third one there's only one point left the third one should be T okay moving on to the next one either by the way once again there are two correct answers to this question either SUT or UST doesn't matter which one you pick Okay, over here, uh, we have four-sided figure, we have quadrilaterals over here, FG, figure out a similar, a corresponding side to FG, FG is right here, it is 5, it's in between 111 degrees and those unknown angles, okay, these are 111 So the sides you can pick, you can pick either one of these sides. I, I hope you realize that because all of the sides on the left are equal to 5 and all of the sides on the right are equal to 1. So the figures are similar, the angles are the same. So you could go with any kind of order to be honest. Uh, okay, let's just, let's just pick one side such as UT or UV. And start with that one. Move on to the second and third. GH is over here. It equals to V and another side. V is over here. There's only one side actually that you can pick, which is VS. So put it up here. We already have three letters up here. The only one left is T. That should be my last answer. Uh, once again, these questions have multiple correct answers. So do not try to like overcomplicate it. Uh, you can there there are many correct answers that you can come up with over here as long as you follow the pattern you're fine Okay, moving on to the next one Jumping up one more level and hoping that you're gonna see a question that requires my help This is oh my god. Okay, let's do this one because it, it has one more step so complete the similarity statement FGHA is similar to you can go with any order F G H A as long as you're not skipping any point when you name it you're good 
So let's do UTSV. You can also do UVST. You can also do, uh, let me just give you another correct answer, STUV. For especially uh, equal, equal sided figures, it doesn't matter how you name it. All of the sides are the same. They all correspond to each other anyways. So since we have UTSV in the box, let's uh, go with that one and re read the rest of the question. What's the similarity ratio of the first to the second polygon? So the uh, similarity ratio, it's not scale factor, it's all about find two numbers that corresponds to each other and then divide them. 5 to 1. 5 to 1 means just 5. Because you can divide 5 by 1, the answer is going to be 5. Okay, moving on to the next level. This is going to be the last question for this video. Same thing. Complete the similarity statement. All sides are the same. Doesn't matter how you name it. Just find a way. STUV. I'm going to follow the same pattern. S starts from the lower right corner. I will do the same. I'm going to start with this. Y, Z, W, and X. Okay, next, write down the similarity ratio. Similarity ratio is about dividing these two numbers. Or dividing the numbers on the left side, or the right side, or the bottom, because they are all equal, doesn't matter. Uh, it says, of the first polygon to the second. So, we start with the first polygon's number, and divide it by the second one's number. It's a whole number, so that would be my answer. Let me see if the next level is going to give me anything that looks weird. I just want to double check. Are the polygons below, below similar? So, yes, these are similar. No, let, let me see. Okay. We need to figure out the missing angles. I'm glad that we, I, I just checked this question out. Okay. 127, we have two of them, right? When we add these together, I get 4, 5, 2. 254 degrees is already in there out of 360. When you have four sided figures, the sum of the interior angles should be 360 degrees. So if you subtract these two, you get 6 and then 5 minus 106 degrees. This is for the two angles sum. So angle B and D should add up to 106 degrees, which means each one should be 56 degrees, 53 degrees, my bad. Are they matching up? The angles should match up as well. They are not matching up. Yes, the sides are matching up, but not the angles. They should all match up together. Uh, the acute angles should be equal. The obtuse angles should be equal. If you add these two, subtract it from 360, divide by 2, you are not going to get 127 for those two red angles as well. That tells me that the figures are not similar. So for this one, I would say no. And then this is going to be my final uh, question for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video, if you think it helps you out with the lesson. And I will see you in another video. By the way, do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you still didn't do so. And I will see you in another video again. Thanks for watching.